to another episode of Full Steam Ahead. My name is Jewel from the Hall Street Branch, and today we're gonna to be making these beautiful African print terracotta pots. Based off one of my favorite African print fabrics, handmade fabrics, and it's called Mud Cloth. And this is from Molly. And this is one example. And this is another example of mud cloth. Absolutely beautiful. And a lot of times the patterns and designs can tell a story. So to get started with the first pot that I made, I did a base coat of black, two coats of black, and I just took my time with the white paint. And I used a used pencil to sketch out how I wanted my design or how I wanted my geometric shapes to be. So here's what we need today. We'll need a pot, whatever size of your choosing. Today I'm going to do a small one because I have a small plant that I want to pot in it. We're going to need paper towels to clean off our brushes. We're going to need brushes of all different sizes, depending. We're going to need paint. You choose your colors. It doesn't have to be black and white. It can be whatever you want it to be. And then I happen to have a little small paint palette that I'll use. And then I'm going to grab some water. And the water will just be so that I can clean off my brush in between. I have a pencil, and the pencil will help me sketch out the design that I want to do. That way, it'll give me a cleaner look and it'll make it less, it'll make it go a little bit faster. So let's get started. So, right now, I'm going to sketch out my design. So there's my finished design, if you can see. And just keep in mind when you do your part, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can take your time and make it exactly the way you want, want it to be. Or you can just kind of freehand it. It's all up to you. There are no rules. We're just having fun, okay? So now I'm going to lay out my paints. That's what we have so far. So I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna finish my design and then I'll come back and I'll show you the finished piece. All right, so we're back. We're back and our pot is all dry and ready to go. And traditionally it would've been called mud cloth because you use the earth to dye the fabric. So that's why we use the colors, the brown and the black and um, just easy colors that you can find if you make paints and pigments from the earth. And so the only thing missing from my pot is a plant. And I just happen to have one right beside me. And we're all done. See you next time.